Hey, welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I'm Ethan Van Skyver. Um, so last night was the uh, Vox Day um, live interview, and um, I think it went well. Uh, listening back to it, I should have plugged in my microphone. I do have a Yeti microphone um, that probably could have been helpful because I come across kind of garbled and noisy um, just going through my uh, laptop uh, uh, microphone. So lesson learned. Vox actually sent me a message and said, do you want to do video or just audio? And I said, well, it's up to you. I wouldn't mind just doing audio this time because then I won't have to set up my backdrop, <laughs> which is always kind of like a crisis. Andrea is very concerned about the lighting and everything in my office. Um, so audio worked okay. Next time I'll use the microphone. Um, uh, a few thoughts. Um, Vox is much less combative and cordial um, when it's a one-on-one -on -one over uh, like a conversation rather than something that we would do, you know, back and forth written kind of debate. Um, or in my case, you know, just answering him back uh, to his blog posts. Uh, it seems like a, a very humble and nice fellow in person when you hear his voice. And then when you listen to the things that he's saying, uh, it's, a, it's a much, much different impression. Uh, many people were shocked uh, that he brought up the name Neil Gaiman and then said that Neil Gaiman wasn't very good. <laughs> And I think that the, the thing about it is, is that Vox is struggling um, to uh, come up with any names um, for anyone in comics that he might know of. Um, he doesn't read comic books. He, he just doesn't read them. And he doesn't see that as anything that should be a hindrance um, to him publishing comic books. And indeed, I'm not sure that I disagree. I, I think that... Um, uh, you know, you don't have to, uh, you know, we always, we always say comics are like hot dog, you know, we're hot dog vendors. Do you have to love hot dogs in order to sell them? Um, no, but you do have to know what tastes good, um, what people want in a hot dog. Uh, and you also have to aim your product at people who eat hot dogs and who enjoy hot dogs. You can't say, hey, these fat guys that go sit in the ballpark all day long that scarf down hot dogs. I know that they're the guys who eat hot dogs, but they're not eating enough hot dogs for me. So I'm going to ignore what they want and I'm going to go for this phantom hot dog crowd uh, that uh, I assume is out there. Gourmets. I'm going to make hot dogs for people who, uh, you know, uh, foodies, people who really uh, spend a lot of money and a lot of time on, uh, you know, eating food, eating fine food. Uh, he's looking for this phantom audience uh, in comics that... Mm, probably doesn't exist. And this is the same thing that um, uh, we have noticed that uh, SJW Marvel Comics did. Um, they're constantly sort of rejecting the audience that they have in search of an audience that um, uh, they fantasize about. So, uh, hey, you know, most comic book uh, readers are uh, of this demographic. This is what their tastes are. And we know what their tastes are because we know what sells the most copies. They like really cool, exciting adventure stories with beautiful women and handsome, tough men getting into fights with monsters, whatever it is. Um, this is traditionally what has sold comics. Lots of action, lots of intrigue, lots of mystery. Um, um, sex and violence and uh, you know uh, to say well those people who like that are dummies so I'm going to produce comic books uh, that over overlook them and and their interests and try to aim comic books at a market um, that is more into the stuff that I like um, which is you know, Vox was, was talking about how much he loves uh, classic literature and, and good, good luck. I mean, again, this is, I, I fear um, that he is going to uh, learn a lesson, the same lesson that um, uh, some of these, uh, you know, SJW uh, comics over at Marvel learned. There just isn't the audience for that that you hope. You have to embrace comic book readers. Comic books are, uh, they are for a select group of people. Uh, I've said it time and time again, not everyone likes to read comic books. Most people, the vast majority of people, 
are confounded and or bored by comic books. They don't want to put the time in. Um, if they are readers, they're going to read novels. Uh, comic books confuse them, perplex them. Uh, they find them um, tedious, childish, whatever it is. There's a, there's a percentage of humanity that actually reads comic books, they see comic books, and comic books click with them and then become a major part of their life. Um, hi babe, you're on camera. I'll block you with my head. I know you're camera shy. Um, but uh, for the most part, uh, you know, you, you, you have to just acknowledge that that is your audience. And if you're going to succeed, if you're, if, if you're looking at this as a business venture and you are planning on making money and, and being in it for the long haul, uh, you do need to aim your books uh, at those people. Now, having said that, that is only if you are interested in um, um, creating a, a profitable uh, comic book company that's that's uh, truly going to be uh, in competition with Marvel and DC. Now, Vox said that within a year he wants to be the sixth, I think he said, um, biggest comic book company, uh, you know, that publishes comics. I think that's possible. Um, uh, what would the other five be? I mean, there would be like, like Marvel, DC, <clears throat> Image, IDW, Valiant, Boom. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's possible. It's, Archie's got to be in there somewhere. Uh, it's possible for you to sneak in there and uh, and be number seven. Uh, but you've got to produce product that people want to buy. Um, it's easy, I guess, to say, hey, this is what I want to do. This is my ideology. I share my ideology with you. Um, would you give me money so that I can do this? And people are going to give you money, I suppose. Um, but are people going to buy your product? Are those people going to actually buy your product because they want to buy it, not because they're supporting you and your um, political interests, but because they really do like the hamburgers you're making, the hot dogs you're making? Um, uh, you know, that's, that is, that is the question. So, uh, I said last night and he, uh, and his fans didn't like this. I said, I'm afraid, you know, alt hero, uh, being, being what it is, um, being, um, transgressive and, uh, you know, so, so very on PC and, not in a fun way. I don't think. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't think the Confederate flag is fun. I just don't. Um, but you know, that's my opinion. I mean, you. He had this whole thing about rebel flag. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. Um, but uh, in terms of American history, I don't. I don't think it's fun. And um, to be the publisher who launches their business um, on that comic book, on the back, on the reputation of that comic book. I worry that it's going to um, basically poison everything else down the line. And a few um, people have commented in the uh, comments section, uh, well, you know, how can you poison a well that's already been poisoned? <clears throat> the well is not poisoned. The well is comic book fans. Um, comic book fans want to read comic books that don't agitate them, that uh, intrigue them, that excite them. Um, uh, that inspire them, and um, those those people are frustrated because that that kind of comic book doesn't seem to be as prevalent as it used to be, and the people who are responsible for creating comic books don't seem to be aiming their efforts at that direction, um, at pleasing them, at exciting them, at about firing their imaginations. It seems like um, comic book publishers um, like Vox Day. Uh, seem more interested in um, fighting with other comic book creators um, and making a point, um, uh, you know, uh, making a political argument uh, rather than telling a great story. So what he's doing now, and you know, as I said towards the end of the interview, a lot of my friends work for you, and so I want your business to succeed. Um, what they're doing. And someone like Chuck Dixon, who's been in this business longer than I have, I mean, even longer than I have, he, um, he's not going to be telling, I, I don't think, knowing Chuck, he's not going to be telling political stories. He's going to be telling 
you know, other kinds of stories. Maybe he'll even do a nice, like, kind of action comic uh, or a barbarian, a fantasy comic. That would be great. Uh, those are the things that he's really, really good at. Um, uh, you know, he's not going to uh, um, want to uh, uh, propel this his involvement in this business venture uh, on the backs of, of on the back of his own politics and he's not going to want to be uh responsible for or necessarily he's he's not going to want to answer for or you know what you've done with all hero um i think he's hoping that this will become something um big and sustainable uh and you know i think uh, aside from a few people who just uh you know know a lot about uh things that you've said in the past vox day and um, uh, people you've upset in the past. I think aside from those people, most reasonable people would want your comic book venture to succeed um, just because it would be good for the industry. Now, I will tell you that when the interview was over, Vox and I had a nice personal chat, a private chat, uh, where we um, discussed the actual details and his plans and things that he couldn't actually say or reveal um, on the air. And uh, he does have some interesting ideas about distribution, and I'd like to know more about it. <clears throat> um, but I did get some extra details, and, and that stuff is very, very exciting. Um, but what I want to really impart, and I wish I had hit this harder to him, is that his idea of skipping over the heads of um, the fans who are excited about buying comics, who go to the comic stores every week, and uh, you know, buy titles, read them, review them on the internet, um, get excited about what's coming next week. Uh, if you're not aiming at those people, those people are your target audience. And if you can get a crowd beyond that, if you can get uh, other people who normally don't buy comics to come on board and, and, and uh, get involved in comics or begin reading, uh, your stories uh, as told visually, then that's, I mean, that is a, a great thing. Uh, but I think, I think that just dismissing uh, the comic book fandom uh, the way that I felt that he did uh, is a fatal error. <laughs> Not just a small mistake, it's a fatal error That that is uh, uh, the reason why um, if this venture doesn't succeed, it'll be because of that. And somebody else said to me, they said, you know, Vox is, uh, Vox is not a stupid man. Uh, he's going to, he, he's gleaning what he needs to from what you're telling him. And uh, I do believe that he will adapt um, uh, based on um, some of the advice or criticism that he's receiving. And I hope that's the case. I do. <laughs> It was fun. It was a fun uh, conversation. Um, uh, I hope I wasn't too combative. I know I, you know, my interview style again is just to let people talk. Um, uh, you know, uh, people who uh, are allowed to just speak their mind uninterrupted. Are, you're going to learn a lot more about what their thoughts are, what their feelings are, what their plans are, than you know, just a kind of CNN style head to head. Uh, hey, I'm trying to agitate you and, and get you to shut up and get my message out over yours. Uh, that's that's never going to be my interview style. I will have all kinds of people on. Um, and when you hear me like this, that's just because I want you to hear what they're saying. And, and not necessarily, this is, even though this is my show, um, I, when I bring a guest on, they are the voice that I want you to hear so that, you know, uh, you can take from them what you want. You know, I, I trust you guys uh, to interpret um, and, uh, you know, uh, take from what they're saying, uh, you know, based on your own kind of instincts and intuition and, and personal experiences. I think that you guys are capable of judging for yourself and I don't need to lead you anywhere. So, um, there you go. There's my Vox Day reaction. I'll have another... Um, <laughs> I'll probably do another uh, female to male uh, character thing later on today if I get some time. Uh, I'm not starting a new DC project until tonight, so I might have a few hours to, to do another video. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.